Good morning, it's your boy Jay Coble, Orange Cactus Coffee, kicking it with you for another coffee review. This is uh, one of my subscriptions. Funny enough, uh, I think I tasted Little Amps through Angel's Cup, but this one's Little Amps Nano Chala Ethiopia Citrus Floral and Honey. A citrus, floral, and honey. And sure enough, as Zeke already pointed out this morning, it does indeed smell like coffee. So, using my old 33500 recipe, hollowing out my little crater there, and here we go. It does smell like honey. It looks really good. Going 100, 100 on the bloom, and I'm getting the dirty swirly. And hopefully not swirling it outside of the br bripper, the brewer, the dripper, the bripper. I don't want to get it on the outside of the bripper. That might not be a bad name for a product, Zeke. Maybe you can design a bripper. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the bripper. That's the latest model. All right. Still bubbling, still active, still wonderful. Here we go. It is really nice. I'm excited. I am excited to try this coffee. I gotta tell you. My shoulders also. Tired. Was running this morning, for those of you who are wondering, which is nobody. Nobody wants to know. Nobody's curious about how the run went this morning, but it went well, so thanks. Um, minute and a half, and we're at 360. 378. I should pour slower so I can pour it in one pour all the way to 500. But the water's heavy, I'm tired already. All right. Let's get to that. Boom, 500, there we go. Scraping the sides, get all the wallflowers off the wall and onto the dance floor. All the kids in the pool, trying to get as even of extraction as we can for all the coffee that's in there. Give it a little stir. I'm gonna restir it, don't worry. We're not gonna end up with a volcano. We're gonna end up with a flat bed. I'll let you see it. That is, Smells really good. I am excited. Let's see. It's, uh, March. I'm going to say it's March 1st. I think today is the 8th. Is today the 8th? I think so. So this was roasted a week ago. So this like, it's perfect. It's in the perfect sweet spot. It's been one week since roasting. And I gotta tell you, I am really happy with the brew as well. We're at 315. I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the drawdown because it's so cool. Give it just a little more. There we go. Look at that. That's gonna be a beautiful flat bed, wet sand. We're at 3.30. Man, look at that. Isn't that so cool? I'm just kind of... It's like being at the beach. Like um, the missus likes to dig for sand crabs. And, you know, it's like... And then it fills in and then... And then yeah, there you go. That's so cool. All right. Man, I got to tell you. That is really nice. Let me get my little to-go mug going here. Get my tasting mug going. I guess I can put a little more in there. There we go. All right, that 
that's ready for work. This is ready for us. Here we go. Citrus. I see that. This is kind of a nondescript citrus. I see why you just said citrus instead of like tangerine. Because it's almost like a cross between a lime, a lemon, and an orange together. Like it's not as tart, but then there's some sweetness, but it's not all the way sweet either. The floral seems like it's more kind of up in the nose right here, right there. Right, sorry, you didn't see right there. That's where the floral is. And then the honey. I don't know where the honey is. Maybe the honey will show up a little more as it cools, but I think I'm getting that. The citrus, the floral, the honey. It's a really beautiful cup of coffee. Wow, that is really, really delicious. This might be one of the very nicest, like washed, regular, washed, washed Ethiopian coffees I've ever had. So this is great. Thanks to the lamps and thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful week.